Okay, this is MXUX with 10 things you need to know about uh, ticker symbol ride or what used to be uh, Diamond Peak Holding Company, which is uh, Lordstown Motors. Uh, been a bunch of things I think have been incorrect that have been on the web about this stock and or company. Let me just go through these slides. Uh, on the one uh, web uh, website focused on electric vehicles, they mentioned that they have to see a working prototype first, that they thought it was fake. This is totally false. There is a, a working prototype. There's a new video uh, that just came out that shows a tug of war with uh, the Endurance uh, F1 uh, Endurance pickup truck doing a tug of war with a Ford F-150, which the Endurance, uh, Lordstown Motors Endurance pickup truck wins. Uh, there's a test track video, uh, video with a close-up of uh, the hub motor operating. Um, Vice President, former Vice President Prince uh, rode out and won at uh, the plant opening. Uh, it's on YouTube now. There, there's many videos showing the working prototype uh, full-size working prototype uh, you just have to look on the web so this is false there is a working prototype now another thing that's come up is uh, the wheel wheel hub motor can't work or won't work properly because of uh, unsprung weight that's weight that's not above the suspension you know I've done some research on this the best I can find is that the wheel motor assembly is 70 pounds of unsprung weight per wheel and many commercial trucks carry this weight now if you look at a you know just a pickup truck with a set of dualies on it it's got to be close well, certainly any kind of heavy-duty stake bed truck and so forth would have this amount of weight between the hub and the tire and the and the wheel so um, I, I personally don't think this is a problem. I think the, the tests of the uh, prototype have proved this out, and I think uh, that once they start manufacturing, they're going to manufacture the motor as well. They're going to optimize this weight further. This is a non-issue. Um, as regards to the hub motor, uh, Sandy Monroe and Monroe Associates uh, just just previewed a new uh, wheel hub motor uh, design that he is is planning on using in the three wheel projects uh, three wheel uh, EV projects he's planning and he liked the design and to the point where uh, he said he's going to planning on possibly using it in his cars with a gyro chip that would uh, send um, traction control and stabilization messages to each individual wheel motor and uh, so it fits his uh, Monroe doctrine which is simplicity and design so there's the number one vote right there Sandy Monroe on the hub motor I think the wheel hub motor that's in use by the uh, Lordstown Motors Endurance is a superior design even to Tesla it uh, eliminates the gear reduction assembly and housing this big housing that's on most EVs that housing also has a lubricating and cooling system attached Tesla uses a similar system attached to this housing is also uh, drive shafts uh, drive uh, CV joints and and uh, axle rods connecting to the hubs these are all complex internal combustion engineer components that were developed for front-wheel drive vehicles not necessary in an EV the hub motor replaces all this I think if the hub motor was at the state it is now that uh, Elon Musk probably would have used a hub motor I think it's it might I mean in my personal opinion I'm not an engineer I think it's could possibly be a superior design even to Tesla's now about the plant um, Lordstown Motors took over a plant from General Motors in Lordstown Ohio 
and they purchased this plant with a loan from General Motors. And this plant was just recently shut down by General Motors. And this plant is a totally modern plant. It has, you know, Elon Musk right now is trying to do uh, 500K production out of a Shanghai plant. This, this plant can do 500, 500K units a year, no problem. It's got state-of-the-art robotics in it. It was a fully functioning line like less than a year ago, a year ago. And it's got a relatively new German paint shop, which is considered to be the best. There's not going to be any finish uh, problems like they had on the uh, Model 3 uh, from this paint shop. Um, this Lordstown plant is on a rail spur and an inter interstate highway intersection. It is located uh, strategically for distribution. They can ship out hundreds of cars on uh, rail cars. And also, they can load car carriers and have them on the interstate highway within five minutes. And this could, uh, they could ship uh, this w by these means to the Great Lakes or anywhere else in the United States and, you know, to ports uh, internationally. Um, the plan itself, the, um, the building pictures that are on the web right now are drone shots of the plant. They don't do it justice. It looks like a Walmart or something. This plant is big. Uh, if you drive down the back side of this plant, it takes like 30 minutes to get from one end of it to the other. It's gigantic. And it's all neatly maintained. The siding is new. The, the lawn that's around it is mowed. But the sides of this plant, again, it's not uh, represented fairly by the images that are on the web. You have to you have to be there and actually drive around it to see how enormous it is. Uh, just as a side note, LG Chem is building a three million square foot EV battery plant right next door to the Lordstown plant, and uh, that plant is going to employ eleven hundred people. So there's going to be an entire manufacturing complex here, uh, not just Lordstown Motors. Uh, the local, state, and federal government is on board with Lordstown Motors. Um, th this area of the country used to be known as the Steel Valley. It was the largest steel producing uh, area in the world outside of a valley in Russia uh, for till the 70s, until it was shut down essentially all in one day and basically shipped to China. Um, what the government is doing now and what what all the government wants to do and all the horses are charging in the same direction is they want to turn the former steel valley into the voltage valley uh, and they want to focus the manufacturing there now on ev and uh, renewable energy and there is uh, local funding state federal funding there's tax incentives uh, we all know about the orders um, for Workhorse, and Workhorse is a sister company to Lordstown Motors. Uh, in any case, th there's a lot of um, political weight behind this project. <coughs> Excuse me. Coach Tressel is on board. You know, this is an aside, but Coach Tressel used to be the um, former coach of the Ohio State Buckeyes. Uh, he's a very impressive coach. He now heads uh, a local university uh, near Lordstown. And this uh, local university has a top-notch engineering school. Uh, they've been supplying uh, engineers to the automobile manufacturing, steel manufacturing, uh, electronic manufacturing industries for years. There used to be a a, a company in the area called Packard Electric, which produced all the electrical harnesses, for example, for General Motors. 90% of the talent came out of this university. Uh, so they're not going to have, uh, Lordstown Motors is not going to have a hard time finding talent uh, to get to move to uh, this area that's already there. And Trestle's in charge and he's pledged full support and is working, organizing efforts to make sure that. Uh, uh, 
uh, Lordstown gets all the support it needs from the university. And um, I would add that uh, already on staff at Lordstown Motors are a couple of people from Tesla who worked developing manufacturing systems and uh, putting together manufacturing plants for Tesla. And also Hitachi is involved. They already have a pretty impressive staff in place and including a lot of the engineers that were with the plant from GM who moved over and who stayed on to work with Lordstown to help them reorganize the plant. And just uh, to give you an idea about this area, this area of the country, uh, the Mahoning Valley, had eight residents uh, starting uh, in the NFL in the 1980s, all at the same time. So I don't think any other place in the country had that. Anyway, Coach Trestle, he's a pretty uh, dynamic force. The CEO, Steve Burns, of Lordstown Motors is underestimated. He's a tech guy. I, I want to say like Elon Musk. In any case, he started with the internet. He's uh, founded a couple internet companies and he worked in high tech. I, one of the projects he was involved with was he helped create the software that eventually was bought by Apple and became Surrey. So he's uh, you know he's a tech guy and um, he's moved on to EVs much like Elon Musk and he has years of experience um, going through several versions of the development of a number of uh, EVs including the workhorse truck uh, EV truck and the C100 and so forth and and the endurance uh, which he developed while he was uh, with workhorse and uh, then spun off into this separate company, Lordstown Motors. So um, don't underestimate Steve Burns. Um, he's uh, soft-spoken. He doesn't. He's not on Twitter a lot. He doesn't do a lot of interviews. That's because he's working to get this plant up and running. And he does have uh, the background to do this. About the stock, this this is a new symbol. Okay. This, <coughs> excuse me, was DPHC, Diamond Peak Holding Company. It was a SPAC, a special uh, purpose acquisition company. It completed the acquisition. It is now traded under RIDE, R-I-D-E, on the NASDAQ. A new symbol, a separate symbol for Lordstown Motors. I searched uh, Google Finance yesterday for it. It didn't come up. There's another service I use on Amazon TV, um, the Fire Stick uh, on stocks. It's also not listed there. So um, this, this could be in part one of the reasons the stock is at the price it's at. Also, it's following a normal course of, you know, boosting up, selling off, and leveling off that all these SPACs have done, and it's consolidating right now. But just to let you know, um, a lot of people don't even know that this stock is listed under right. So I think that bodes well for us investors who are uh, going in early. Um, the Endurance is the truck uh, that uh, Lordstown is going to produce. Uh, they're stating it's going to be the first uh, electronic electric uh, pickup truck. They're going to be first to market. It is uh, four-wheel drive and four-wheel independent uh, suspension. Uh, their claim is it will have the best traction of any uh, pickup truck out there. And uh, the performance of the truck, I advise everybody to take a look at this um, tug-of-war with the F-150. I'll tell you what, this truck is, is badass. Anyway, it's a retro-cool truck. It doesn't look like a spaceship. It looks like uh, a industrial design, uh, retro modern industrial design. Um, it's really cool. It's new, but it's industrial. 
it's a sleeper. It looks, it's big and husky, uh, but it's got a lot of power and a lot of performance. And it doesn't look like a lot, <laughs> like a performance vehicle, but it is. It's got a really great look. The pictures and videos of it don't do it presence. Take a look at the video where Mike Pence is driven up uh, to the opening of the factory in the truck. And when he gets out, you can compare his size to the size of the truck and see that this is a big truck. It is really cool. The look is cool. The stance is cool. I think a lot of people are going to like this truck. And there's 40,000 pre-orders already. And uh, Burns has already announced that an SU, an SUV, based on the design of the Endurance, uh, is in the works and will be their next product. So, there you go. Another, a product pipeline already.